Hey guys, so I was debating whether or not to do this haul and I decided to do it. Um, I felt initially like I didn't have enough products to show you to actually justify a haul, but I recently did a Dose of Colors haul video and a ColourPop haul video, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you everything in between that I was getting as well. So I have several makeup items to show you and I have some clothing items to show you because I'm trying to give the people what they want. I've had several people recently ask me to start incorporating clothing into my haul videos. I'm gonna start with makeup products because that's what the majority of you are here to watch. I'm gonna throw the clothing in at the end. That way, if you don't wanna watch it, you can just skip past it. So I did stock up on some Kiss lashes. These are my favorite drugstore lashes. They are the same price as Ardell, pretty much, except they're better. I used to use Ardell on myself and my makeup clients, and now I prefer Kiss lashes. They use real human hair, so they look prettier. They look more close to like mink lashes because they're actual hair. So I picked up a bunch of new pairs. These multi-packs are really inexpensive. This was like $8, I think. The thing that I don't like about Kiss lashes is they this is a waste of packaging, like it could be half of this size. This is just a waste of plastic and cardstock. But the product itself, I love. I went to Sephora because I was running low on my Tarte Drink of H2O moisturizer and I wanted to try something new. So before I went into Sephora, I was actually online doing some research on their new skincare products because I knew that I wanted a gel moisturizer, but I wanted to try something new. I really love the Tarte one and I definitely will buy it again once I run out, but I also wanted to try something new. So I got this Corez Pomegranate Moisturizing and Balancing Cream Gel. This is a really nice moisturizer. It mattifies your face, but it's not like that thick primary uh, silicone-y feel. It feels like a, a gel moisturizer. It's really nice, but it does help keep your skin matte all day long. I've used this for like the last week and I love it and it smells amazing. I kind of avoided trying Cora's skincare products for a while and I don't know why I was being so stubborn, but I love this and I also have a peel from them that I absolutely adore. So uh, yeah, now I wanna go buy more Cora's skincare products, but I, I love this. If you're oily, you would love this too. While I was at Sephora, I picked up two of the new lip masks that they have. These are little sheet masks for your lips. I already used the rose one, didn't see a difference at all um, as far as like fine lines, but I did notice a difference in the moisture in my lips. And so I'm excited to use this one. I also got the Shea lip mask. It's kind of weird to think about a sheet mask on your lips. Like if you're claustrophobic, I would not recommend doing this because I'm not claustrophobic, but it made me feel like, ugh. You only leave it on for three minutes. It is an actual sheet mask that is in the shape of lips. You take it out and put it on your lips. So you can't talk or breathe out of your mouth, open your mouth while, while you have it on your lips. So. If you don't like that kind of thing, you won't like this. So I actually got this First Aid Beauty eye cream a little while ago, like maybe a month ago, I wanna say, um, but I didn't include it in a haul back then, so I just wanted to throw it in now. This is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy Instantly Brighten, Depuff, and Smooth. And this is actually really nice for depuffing your eyes if they're really puffy first thing in the morning. Not only that, but they have, um, they come in colors. They have a fair medium and a medium dark, and it is salmon and so it hides your circles. So if you are doing like a no makeup makeup day, if you put on this eye cream, you won't even need concealer because it has the salmon undertone to hide dark circles. So I'm loving this eye cream, I love it. I love everything First Aid Beauty. So I was at Walmart and I was cruising the beauty aisle and I came across this brand of brushes called Moda and it is by Royal and Langnickel. Royal and Langnickel brushes are very, very nice really nice but now they have a drugstore version called moda and i just wanted to pick up one brush in the beginning just in case it sucked um i'm not usually too fond of drugstore brushes so i picked up this blush brush well i guess it's technically they call it a contour brush but i've been using it for blush and i love it it feels really nice in the hand it feels like a high quality brush um and they come in different colors but i like the purple i think it was like eight dollars for this brush it came in this packaging right here you can see the brand name moda and i'm gonna go back and buy every single brush that they have from this line because the bristles are so soft and it just feels good in the hand you can tell a brush is cheap when it feels like feather light in your hand this does not feel feather light it has a good weight to it has a good balance to the weight as well the bristles are very soft and it's purple, I love purple. Also, while I was at Walmart, I picked up these Pro Blending Sponges. This is a two pack of sponges and it came with a purple one that's egg shaped like a beauty blender and then also came with this charcoal infused 
sponge. I'm very particular when it comes to my makeup sponges. I feel like nothing compares to the Beauty Blender, but these are pretty darn close. I like these better than the Real Techniques version. They are a little bit firmer than Beauty Blenders. They don't get quite as soft, but the texture of the sponge and the porousness of it is very, very similar to the Beauty Blender. And I think that this was less than $10 for these two sponges. So I'm very pleased with this. I've been using both of these all this last week. Next up on my list, da 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 da! This is the new Champagne Collection Face Palette by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. You guys know Becca products are outstanding. Becca highlighters are my absolute favorite. This packaging though, this feels so nice. It's heavy, like it, it's heavy duty. So down here on the bottom, we have Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. And for the blushes, this is more of a blush topper because it's so shimmery. It's called Rosé Spritz, and then a blush called Amaretto, and then a blush called Pomplamousse, which is French for grapefruit. Today, I am wearing Rosé Spritz on my cheeks. These are so pigmented, like there's so much color. I'm kind of fair right now, and it's really noticeable on me, so anybody that's more fair than I am right now might not work so well for you. And then also the highlighter is not gonna work for people with fair skin. It's gonna look like a gold stripe on your cheek. Needless to say, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's fucking hot in here. Another product that I got actually just today is the Violet Boss and Laura Lee palette. Do you guys want me to do a video with this palette? Because this is like a warm shadow lover's dream. I haven't used these yet because I did my eyeshadow before I got it in the mail, but these are so beautiful. I, I'm afraid to swatch it because it's so beautiful. Anyway, I did get this and I did the pre-pre-order and so I ordered this like a month ago and it came with a signed card from Miss Laura Lee. I love her. If you guys don't watch your channel, you're missing out. She's absolutely hysterical. So this is her collaboration with Violet Boss Cosmetics. So I'm super excited about this and you guys will definitely be seeing some looks with this. That is actually it for the makeup products. I told you guys I didn't get very much. So now we're gonna move on to the clothing. And the first thing that I got is actually this. This is a romper and I got it at Macy's. The brand is BCB Generation. I love it. It's a really lightweight material, almost kind of chiffon-ish. The details of this romper completely make the entire outfit. Like this, like the little ties right here, you can tie the straps to make it longer or shorter so you can totally tighten up the straps. Also, it has the really cute lace detail on the hem. With my body type, I'm big in this area and I have no hips. So it is very difficult for me to find a romper that doesn't make me look like a square. And I find that this one is actually really flattering for my body type because it cinches in the waist and it's a really good length. I just love it. Black is always good. This little bralette is actually another item that I want to show you guys. I got it from Victoria's Secret and I don't want to show you too much and be inappropriate, but I thought it was super cute. Being a busty woman, it is very difficult for me to find a bralette that actually fits. Like normally I feel like my boobs are gonna swing over my shoulders when I'm wearing a bralette. So this bralette I got at Victoria's Secret and while I was there, I also got a set of pajamas. I've been on this kick recently where I'm looking for new pajamas because most of my pajamas are old and crusty and literally have holes in them. And so I've been getting new pajamas pretty much every time I go to the mall or to whatever store I'm going to. So I got this pajama set. These are the shorts. So red and white stripes. And then the tank top, I have already worn this. Thank you so much. Uh, the tank top is super cute. All American. And this is glitter. I love it. Now moving on to my purchase from Express. Uh, I got just a couple things. First thing I got is another bralette. And I was surprised that I found another one that actually fit me. And the reason I got this, okay, first of all, it was on clearance for $10. So that's the first reason I got it. The second reason is because I got this flowy tank top and I don't have a bra that would work with this. And so I figured I could just wear this underneath. The straps match, these straps, it's perfect. So um, this is flowy, but not too flowy. And I have trouble with flowy tops being uh, a busty woman because you know, like with flowy tops, the furthest most point of your boob, that's where the top is gonna hang off so it can make you look like a barrel. <laughs> I usually wear a medium everywhere I go, like a medium top, medium bottom, and in Express, I always wear smalls, so I can't complain about that. So I love this, this is neon, and yeah. Express is one of my favorite stores. Their clothes are made really well, and they have really cute stuff. The other top that I got from Express is this one, and I can't figure out the straps. Hold on. 
This is gonna be a struggle every time I go to put this shirt on. Okay, here it is. So it's a V-neck and it is another chiffon style shirt. And I think that this detail on it is so pretty. It's actually even prettier on. Like right here, it's kind of like almost crazy looking, but when it's on, it's really pretty and actually kind of subtle, even though there's silver sequins on it. And the back is really cute. It has like this little crisscross style going on. So I'm really happy with both of these tops that I got from Express. So I've already worn the shirt, but I did buy it very recently. So I wanted to show you this is the epitome of Nicole right here. I love this shirt. It is so soft and it's kind of flowy, so it's flattering on you know those days when you're bloated from being hungover. Lastly, I went to Forever 21. When did they stop using the yellow bags? It's hard for me to find things at Forever 21 now because I'm almost 30 and most things there I should not even consider wearing, but I still go in there every now and then for like basic things. And I got this tank top. It says, dump him please. I love their tank tops. This style right here, it's like kind of loosey goosey, but it's really soft. I have another one from them that's like the same exact style. It just has a different graphic on it. And I absolutely love it. It is one of the most comfortable tank tops that you can ever wear. Bye own purchase anywhere so oh and this was only eight dollars and ninety cents hello okay next up i got another bralette <laughs> uh they have so many cute bras and underwear now at uh forever 21 anyway i got this uh it's almost like a sports bra type thing, but it is a bralette it's just one of those really stretchy ones and the reason i got this one is because of the back it's got a little ring right here and the straps and it's because you can't buy a dress or a romper or a top anymore without having it like having an open back and with the open back you either have to be wearing a really cute bralette or you have to go braless and i am not about to do that because <laughs> just i'm just not and the last thing that i got from forever 21 is another pajama set and this is okay. It's kind of cute, okay? It is shorts and a tank top. This is the tank top. These are cats, okay? Cats. Look at this. Do you see the cats? I am not a cat person, okay? Uh, when I was paying for my items, the guy that was, the cashier was like, are you a cat fan? And I was like, no, but these are the most comfortable pajamas that I've ever felt in my life. So you get the tank top and then you get the matching shorts. With a little pink bow. I thought they were super cute. And these are actually a size medium because the smalls were like, <laughs> even though I'm not a cat person, I just thought that these were really cute. They have little kitty cats all over them. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup and clothing haul. Please do not forget to click like on this video and share it. You guys ask me sometimes if I mind if you share my videos on social media, please do. I would love if you did that because that means you like it and it's gonna get other people to come join our YouTube family. So yes, definitely share this video if you enjoyed it. And please also do not forget to click subscribe and become part of the YouTube family. We keep it real here on my channel. Oh, speaking of keeping it real, my dryer is running right now. I'm sorry, it has to run. I have somewhere to go after this. Hashtag adult problems. But thank you again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah, every day that's you and me. All day that's us, boo. Came through with that new thing. See, I don't know why I trust you. Crazy now, I'm just too.